there's uh there's no hot cocoa in this today. It's it's just water. <laughs> it's just water. But uh still going to do a chat. <laughs> So Corey, one of my patrons on Patreon, actually picked this topic, and by the way, if you want access to choosing topics, music downloads, and just other stuff that I have going on, you can check out my Patreon. It's JeffAMiller17. I also have it linked down below. Don't feel obligated to do it, but just letting y'all know. But anyway, the question was, have you been able to keep friendships that you had before you transitioned, or did you grow apart? And the answer is yes to both. <laughs> there are some friendships that I had in high school that don't exist anymore. Um, some are because I'm trans and some are just because we moved to different cities when we went to college and we just lost touch and grew apart and that, that happens. The first person that I actually told that I was trans was one of my closest friends in high school and she knew all of the difficulties that I had, the depression that I was going through, and um, she was very religious. And in my head, I wasn't seeing it as an issue. I was raised Lutheran, like I had that background. And the Christianity that I was taught growing up was love everyone regardless of whatever. But she was the type of Christian who wasn't down with any of this. like. Trans people are sinners, gay people are sinners, and that was a really hard thing for me to <laughs> to grapple around, you know, the fact that the first person that I told in person wasn't super, um, super happy about it. And as soon as I drove away from Perkins that night, <laughs> lol, uh, I told her in a Perkins, like around midnight, late night Perkins, that's what we did in our town. I knew that there it wasn't going to be repaired, that there wasn't really much that I could do with that. But yeah, for most of the friends that I had in high school, we just sort of grew apart and we were living in separate areas, we were living separate lives, and that's the thing that no one really tells you when you're leaving high school or college, that the likelihood of you staying best friends with those people, it's it can happen, but it's not always going to happen. And you know, the best friends that you had in high school aren't necessarily the best friends that you had in college and just so on and so forth. Sometimes you lose touch with people or you grow up and develop different interests and you know, you're not, you're not interested in the same things anymore. So it becomes more and more of a process to actually hang out with the person instead of enjoying it like it used to be. Things are never going to be like it used to be, just point blank. And I think it's really important to note that just because you lost a friend, it doesn't automatically make you a bad person or like that you're worthless. Because I can't tell you how many times I've personally gotten caught up in trying to save a failing or toxic relationship with putting so much effort into trying to fix something that you can't really fix. And thinking that it was all my fault that I let the relationship go south or something like that. Sometimes friendships just end and there's not really a reason for that or anyone who is at fault. It just happens. And that's something that is potentially a hard lesson to learn. I know for me, it took a really long time uh, to figure it out. But for anyone who is going through that, you're definitely not alone and it can be scary, but at some point you're going to meet new people and those people are going to love and respect you and you won't have to try. Like you can just be you in the friendship and yeah, that's, that's a wonderful thing. And I hope that every person is able to experience a friendship like that. That's about all I can say about this in this chat, but yeah, <laughs> as always, you are valid, you are loved. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you again on Monday. Bye. Thanks for checking out my video. You can click anywhere if you don't know where to go. I hope that you enjoyed the show.